Good morning and welcome to the sun is shining nice and bright this morning Winnipeg. Yep, it's nice out there. It dried up yesterday afternoon late. And uh, talking about late, it was kind of late when I got back to the model table here. And uh, we are almost done step 36. We just got to do one little ladder here, which we are going to be doing very shortly. Uh, now, to see how we got to this little ladder, let's roll back. Well, the sun is shining and the streets have dried up. And I have once again been reminded that possibly we're going to have a fit issue in the back here. So I'm going to uh, take heed to that viewer's warning and I'm going to place the tripod on there. Uh, he suggested just do a dry fit. We'll, we'll reposition here. Okay, now the concern that is being expressed, and this is the second time now I've put this stuff on here, that parts are not going to want to fit properly once this gun tub is in place. I, I don't think I needed to put this in. I, I had it before because I wanted to see about that little uh, radar unit that, was, that goes in the back there. But but now the thinking is that there may be difficulty getting this now very, very carefully here. Very carefully. Okay, where can I grab this now that I can give it a good squeeze but don't need to worry about breaking anything? maybe right here, that that this might not want to fit down in there, that there could be a problem getting, getting this to fit. Uh, okay, now I am seeing what the person is talking about. Let's take this out of here and put this in. No, I don't, I don't want this to fall over. There's so, so few places that a person can hold on to this now. Okay, so the back part of the tripod is in place and, and so is the front. Okay. Um, now, the thinking I think that the person was thinking was that I'm, I'm going. You know what? I'm going to probably end up knocking this over, and and it'll go so fast I won't be able to catch it. Or worse yet, I'll go to grab it and break something. But I, I think that the thinking is it might be hard to get this get this to fit afterwards. Oh no! There we go. Okay, I think I think we can possibly do it here. Yeah, I think I think we'll be able to manage. But uh, thank you for the warning, because undoubtedly uh, the, the the commenter has had experience, most likely with this kit or one similar to it. Uh, but but I think you can see here that when everything is in place, we. Let me swing this around here. Okay. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be all right. Okay, I was noticing when I was disassembling everything here that yes, there, there does appear to be a bit of a fit issue right here. Not that it can't be done, but it's just a little bit tight. And I think that if I find that after I get the tripod glued into place, because obviously this goes down afterwards, uh, if I find that I can't get it to, to fit, um, I can always very, very carefully enlarge 
the, these slots here just a little bit with a file. Um, I, I don't think I'm going to have to, but uh, anyway, once again, thanks for the heads up on this. Now, very carefully get our tripod here. Now, I'm not going to be too worried about where the front one goes. We can always straighten it around later. As long as I don't uh, accidentally break something off. Trying to get everything into position here. All right. Careful, Ron. Okay. Okay, I, I know you can't see it because it's on the other other side of this thing, but uh, the uh, the front mast is in a perfect location right now, and I'll worry about it later. Um, does it look like that one on the left is all the way down? Try and find a place where I can put a little down pressure. Yeah, I think it is. I'm just going to leave that. Um, okay, I can see the one on the right there. I probably got a little aggressive with my uh, extra thin here. Okay, let's uh, just leave that for a little bit and then we'll uh, swing around and see if we can meld the uh, mast down onto the planking. Now, of course, in, in real life, it wouldn't be that way. It would have gone right through down maybe several decks or maybe right down as far as the uh, bottom of the hull goes. I don't know. Okay, the uh, two in the back that we did a few minutes ago, they're probably still a little bit soft. Um, I'm thinking that if I could... Just, just raise that main mast up out of the socket that it's in, like like that, and get some extra thin underneath there, and then put it back in. That's that's the plan. This is not going as planned. Maybe I'm coming at it from the wrong angle. Probably gonna probably gonna get my hands in your in your way here. All right, now <clears throat> let's get that down into place. There. Okay, I think when that melts, it's gonna be nice and strong. I don't know. Should I try and put a little bit more down? No, I don't think so. I think if I try to put any more on, it's just going to wick its way out into the planking here. You can you can see that it's fairly liquidy there, so uh, yeah, I think that's going to be a nice strong joint. Even though that's a painted surface, it's going to go right through and, and uh, meld the plastics together. Okay, you will recall that in the last episode, we had... Uh, painted the deck tan on that spot there where there was the bare plastic and I was saying that I wanted to just take just a little hint of this stuff. Okay, well that, that's a hint. I can always put more on. Okay, get a little bit more here. Just want to darken it so it kind of blends in. 
Okay, I think that once that dries, it's going to be uh, it's going to be just fine. I just don't seem to be getting anywhere this evening. I don't know what's happened. I just uh, maybe it's because I don't know what to do next, or I don't know. Anyway, I went down to my workshop and I got this piece of plywood here. And my thinking is that in all likelihood, I'm going to catch, like I don't know if you can see it, but there's a very tiny little antenna on the top there. And and there's a, a cord that comes down, goes to the camera, and it, then it goes to the monitor. And I can just envision that getting caught on there. In fact, it, it almost did a few minutes ago. And that's, that's why I decided, hey, I better do something now before I actually pull this off. So my thinking is that I can put it on this board, which I have cut just about the right size. And then, and I've, I've done this before. I did it on the, on the Bismarck and then I did it on the hood. And now I'm going to do it on the Rodney. And the idea will be that we will try and protect that so that when something catches on, comes over, drags over it, you know. Uh, I used to have lots of coat hangers. <laughs> and I need, I need another coat hanger because this is just a little bit too short. Um, okay. This will help, but it's no guarantee. Doesn't mean I can be careless now. It just, it'll just help. I think one one of the things that that often happens is I'll reach across, and there's been more than one time, not with this one, but when I was doing the hood and the Bismarck, that I I felt this thing brushing on my arm, or my sleeve will catch on it. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. Let's see if we can get through this build without breaking one of these off. Okay, it looks like the only thing we got left to do now on step 36 on the second half is this ladder. I thought there was two ladders, but I think it's the same ladder uh, before and after being bent into shape. And, uh, okay, so B11, that's got to be that one right there. Um... I'm going to leave this for the morning. I, I know I got a little bit of time here. I could probably do this, but uh, I'm starting to get kind of tired here. Uh, maybe that's why I'm not getting anywhere. Anyway, we'll see you in the morning. Now, I can't remember what it was that went wrong last time when I was doing a ladder, but it seems to me that the last ladder, something went wrong. I think it had something to do with the treads. But I'm not sure. Got it. Okay, I think I remember what went wrong the last time. Um, the the treads uh, were at the right angle, but they were about 180 degrees the wrong way. If that makes any sense, Let me get something different here to adjust with. I'm looking straight down on it now, so I can I can see where the 
where the bend should be. And because I don't want to put any stress on the joints, I'm going to have it probably uh, a little bit maybe further out than what you would expect. Because I don't think I, I need to worry too much about bending the treads. But if I have if I have this whole part too close in, as I mentioned before, it will tend to bind, and it will pull away from from uh, whatever it is you're trying to bend. I I can't work and talk at the same time. Oh, I'm bending it. Here we go. Get it underneath there. You know, this. Uh, this blade is just, I, I dulled it way back when, when we started with the Bismarck, I, I dulled this blade. And uh, the reason being is because I didn't want to cut myself with it, but now it's so dull that it won't go underneath the, uh, underneath the part. Now we'll just get it so that the breaker bar here, this I'm calling this this nose thing, uh, this thing here, the, the nose of the breaker bar. Now that might not be the correct term. Okay. Okay. Now, let's make sure that I bend the treads the right way. Not that anybody's going to notice unless you looked at it real, real close, like with the macro lens or something. Okay, now in order to know what angle to bend the treads at, I have to know what angle the ladder is going to be. Uh, in other words, if it's at 45 degrees, and then, then you want the treads bent to 45 degrees. But I was noticing that that the uh, yeah, I think that this ladder is going to go almost straight up and down. Okay, now quit poking at it here. If we follow this arrow all the way along, at first I thought that it wanted us to put the the ladder up against the side of this this splinter rail here. But that's not what it's showing. It looks like the, the arrowhead is sort of uh, perforated, if you know what I mean. So that means it, the, it goes underneath. So let's get our part back on the table here uh, and, uh, and just see. So the ladder goes from here and then it, it, it uh, mounts on the, on the uh, deck part of this. Well, that, that's fairly obvious. I mean, where else could it go? This is going to be awkward. Um... I'm wondering if maybe I was to take and turn this entire thing at a bit of a <clears throat> an angle so that gravity is more of our friend here. Um, yeah. Okay, so you can see here now what I'm thinking. The ladder is going to be more leaning back just a little bit. And uh, I now know that the, the, the treads to look believable, have to be bent almost at 90 degrees to the stringer, but not quite. Um, probably about 80 degrees, but I mean, who's going to be in there measuring anyway? I just wanted to kind of look proper in case somebody happens to look in there. Um, like me. <laughs> okay, let's, let's uh, recompose here and uh, get our, our treads bent. 
I think I'll do it on the green cloth. Okay, I think what I'm going to try to do here is bend these in two stages here. Bend them about uh, 45 degrees and then and then bend them the remaining 45 degrees or almost 45 degrees a second time around. Now maybe I'll go this way. I don't know how much of this on camera I'm going to be able to do. Um, maybe if I was to come in like this. Okay, make sure I don't grab two treads at the same time. Okay, something like that. Now I'll reach in and get the second one. Um, I'm going to get a skinnier tweezer. I don't know if these are better or not. Oops. Gotta be so careful I don't grab hard here. Ooh, I also have to be careful when I release the tweezer that it doesn't. Yeah, okay, that's that's gonna work. Yeah, when I release the tweezer, if it's in between the treads, it could actually break them out, even though I'm not squeezing on it. Is, I should check the monitor. Is my, is my finger in your way? Yeah, a little bit. Sorry about that. Maybe I'll swing around a little bit here. These ladders seem to be a little bit different somehow than the ones I did on the Bismarck. I remember on the Bismarck I just I just went snip 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 and they just Okay, now we want to bend them the rest of the way because you, you should be able to see here that they are not angled enough. I mean, if you tried to climb this ladder right now, you'd slip off. Okay, so maybe if I was to take and come in from, let's see, where's my little black dot here so that you can see. Okay, now if I was to come in like this, Yeah, it's going better now. This is sort of the way I remember them going before. And as near, near as I can tell, I am bending them almost 90 degrees to the... Uh, did I get that one already? Oops. Don't want to go in too far. And the last one. Okay, let's, let me look at this now. It looks like I missed one here. Okay, I got it. Alright. 
Yeah, I think I think we got it. All right, let's paint this thing. slipping out of the tweezer here. I'm going to end up dropping it on the cloth. Well, clearly this is going to take two coats. Clearly it's going to take two coats. It doesn't seem to be going on in some places. It's almost like it was grease there. I was going to use the uh, the ultrasonic cleaner and uh, then I remembered how once before when I used the ultrasonic cleaner that the One of the treads actually vibrated off. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, well, I think maybe that, that that's definitely grease, isn't it? I wonder if I should. Yeah, look at that. It just doesn't want to paint on. There's, there's something. There's something on there. Um, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to soak the the paint off this, and I'm going to put it in the ultrasonic cleaner, and we're going to do this again. Okay, this is uh, Windex, just in case anybody's wondering. Now I didn't time it here, but I'm I'm guessing it's about three minutes. Um, normally this thing will shut itself off after about three minutes, and I think it was just about ready to do that. Now, uh, oh, we're missing a bunch of the steps. I should not have used the ultrasonic cleaner. Or maybe I should have used it for less. All right, you know what? <clears throat> I'm gonna wrap today's uh, episode up because I started to say that, my, uh, among other things, I've gotta go for some uh, tests this afternoon. And uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I thought that this would probably be okay. I thought that was just a one-time thing, but well, that, that's too bad. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm going to wrap today's episode up right now. And we'll continue on <laughs> uh, probably this evening, <laughs> which will be in tomorrow's rollback. Oh, for goodness sakes, it looks like about four or five of them broke off there. 
Well, at least there's enough. I think there's enough left. And, and they're just too small to solder back on. I don't think there's an extra ladder. No, there's no extra ladders. It's the only one of this, this particular length. Well, that was sure too bad. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we'll deal with this tomorrow.